Hey y'all. I am here with another unboxing. My sew sampler box just arrived and I wanted to share with you guys what's inside. Welcome to Baby Girl Crafting. I'm JJ and today we're going to take a look at the October sew sampler box. So I just got it. So excited. Wanted to share with you guys. So to, to tell you a funny thing about this box is it is weighted differently. So there is something on this side of the box that is really, really heavy. I mean, not really heavy, but much heavier than the rest of the box. I'm guessing fabric, but let's check it out. Before I do that, I know, little teaser, sorry. Um, what do you guys think is in here? I didn't look, well, I kind of looked at the, at the little secret thing that they send you, but it didn't make sense to me because I'm clueless sometimes. But I was thinking we would be getting something like Christmassy because it's time for all those Christmas crafts to come out. A lot of my other boxes are sending Christmas kits. So I don't know, I could be wrong because that's not what I got from the hint. But let's see. The hint seemed like it was really white and black. But let's see. All right, I'm opening it. Oh yeah, the theme, just type it. Did not seem at all Christmassy, I was really surprised. There you go. Okay, so that's the theme. So we take it out. And then we got some coupons on the back. And okay. So it is definitely a black and white themed box. That's what I'm looking at. And let's first thing we get is our little card. So there we go. And on the card, it talks about all the little things. I usually put this to the side to begin with. And if I have questions, which I always do, we can go back to it. All right, so the first thing we got is Perfect 10 Quilts, 16 Fabulous Quilts featuring our new Perfect 10 Ruler. I don't know if this is just an advertisement or what. It's just a piece of paper. Perfect 10 book and ruler by It's So Emma. Pick yours up today at the Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm thinking that might just be an ad. All right. Then we got a quilter's label set, a 12 pack. Let's open this up. I'm kind of clueless. I think these are the, like the labels you stick on your projects. Okay, so there's different styles in here. One says sew first, and on the other side it's that design. And then they open up, and that's the inside side. So you just kind of sew them on. Then we have another one of those, another one of those, another one of, oh no, this one's different. So this one, so we had three of that one, the sew first. This one says basically crafty, and that's the design. And it looks like we have three of those. And then the next ones are white and this says maker. And I'm guessing three of those. Yeah. And then this one says quilter. And that's the design on that side. Okay. So that's kind of cool says the directions are to personalize your quilts with a quilt label. Just sew it into the binding with a quarter inch seam allowance. And this, there's 12 of them. Awesome. Put that away in a sec. All right, I'm holding off on the fabric. This thing is huge. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at right now. It's a quilter's hang up. Let us help you finish your quilt. It's easy to use, saves time, streamlined patent. It's a streamlined patent and it is patented, patented, can't say that today, patented. Oh my word, I got it out. Design allows art to hang flat. Designed by a quilt shop owner. Regulation size of four feet tall. Available in unbleached muslin or black. So I don't know what size, oh, it looks like this is muslin, the unbleached muslin. Let's open this up. This is something unique to me. I have nothing. 
like this. Okay, so instructions for attaching the quilt sleeve. Awesome. And that's what it is. It's just a sleeve. It opens up. How far? And that opens in there. That's a unique, it's very colorful. Surged. Okay. And it is long. Whee! So, four feet long. I'm guessing that's what it said. Alright, so that's interesting. I usually make my own. But, you know, hey, that works. Put that back in the box. Alright. There's some things down here at the bottom. We have a basics ruler. That's what it is right there. Grab a jelly roll of your favorite pre-cut. It's so basic, so fun. Your essential tool for pre fabric pre-cuts. Instructions are inside. I like getting unique rulers, so that's kind of fun. But this one, I'm kind of clueless. There's a paper backing on it. So are we just cutting a square? Before you get started, you should remove the protective paper backing from the template. Okay. <laughs> then place non-slip film or discs to both sides of the template. I have those. I have the discs. Um, the basics uses two and a half strips. These can be ready cut, i.e. jelly rolls, etc. Or you can cut your own. Any pattern. Okay, so basically you take your two and a half inch strips, you sew them together, and then you use this ruler to cut them out in different shapes. Such as this. Okay, that is like a really unique idea. I like that idea. That's probably the first ruler that I'm kind of like, okay, we'll see. But yeah, I like it. Uh, the pattern, well, we got our recipe barn block, which we get one of those every um, month. It, if you do them, then you'll be making a quilt. I didn't get the material for it, so I have not started it. I will probably do it eventually. But I've decided not to worry about it this year. And the pattern for this month is Ellipsis Quilt Pattern, and it's a Sew Sampler exclusive. And to do this, you do need to use that ruler, and you need to use the fabric that we got, which is a Moda fabric, Modern Bee Gees, more paper. So I do like the motor fabrics. I'm gonna open the plastic just a sec. All right, so this, this is the fabric that we got. So you can see that. And this is what I'm looking at. So it's very blacks and whites and grays. It looks like there's some pinks in there. I thought I'd open it for you guys, take off the little ribbon. So you guys can see the fabric. Cause this is very new fabric for me. Oops. Just to kind of give you an idea. So those are the fabrics that we're getting. Let's get down into these lighter ones. This is striped. That's actually one piece of fabric. Some dots and patterns. And that's it. So these ones are... There's a couple of these that look like these lighter ones right here. Kind of have, on the camera from here, it looks like they're showing gray. They actually have a little bit of a pinkish tint to them. So those are the fabrics that we got. All right.
We're all good. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And I look forward to having you visit my next video. Later, peeps!